Here we are in Raimi's car. He did try and wash it yesterday, can you tell? There's a few, you know, dirty bits. Uh, not up to my standard, but you know. <laughs> Ish. And there's this noisy exhaust, bloody dustbin. <laughs> Look at these lingering in the shade. I like the black one, it's got a roof. <laughs> There's a lot of convertibles here today because the weather's so nice, I guess. Lots of Fs and TFs and I still can't tell the difference. See, I wouldn't know what that one is. It's got green bits on though, like Raimi's car. There's no engine. I like the, uh, this is very Jesse, this is polished brake pipes. Wow, the interior is so red, even the dashboard's red. It's a lot of red. But this one's got the red wheels. Or pink, I can't quite tell. I reckon they're pink, you know. Pink wheels. Now, I was attracted to the beige one. I think the beige one looks quite attractive. It's a bit of Joseph, isn't it? Beige leather interior. Wood. <laughs> mm. Snazzy chrome bits as well. Very nice. Someone's parked the wrong way round. <laughs> is this the same colour as your ZS? Yeah, this is how it's meant to be. This is the, okay, this <laughs> What, with no roof? The way it's going, it's going to end up with no roof. <laughs> this one looks almost in original sort of condition. The MG magnet. Beautiful. Sorry about the wind noise again. I keep forgetting my windsock. Just have to put up with it. Got the original plates on the front there. Looks a bit odd because everything else is shiny. Lovely interior. I like the dial. Half an octagon. Keys are in it, ready to go. Hey, look, he's got sneaky five gears in there. Excited <laughs> over it. Yeah. I like the back lights. They're like Jesse's uh, indicators. 
quite a big boot in there as well. Get a few dead bodies in. Nice little 1300 here. Very cool. Wow, look how many dials he's got in there. Gosh, loads. <laughs> nice little engine bay, shiny rocket cover, and a random can of Red Bull that powers the distributor. This little one is a, this guy's got Steptronic, which is a fancy gearbox, isn't it? Plenty of wine, plenty of beer. He's got these little knobs on the steering wheel on the top and you can change up and down gears or you can just have it in automatic I've not seen that before like the green seats and the seat belt it's got a little angry eye covers on as well look. this is quite nice because you get to compare the rubber bumper MGB to the MGF is it an F? <laughs> pretty sure it is but um, yeah new and old together both black both with black leather interior well I presume it's leather it might be vinyl in the uh, B uh, yeah that's how times change eh and even better we've, we've got the uh, they should have put them in line should have put the A, B and the F the MGA is lovely Really nice in the black with the red interior, of course, my favourite. And the wire wheel, wow. Imagine keeping them clean on a daily basis. It's all right getting it out to a show now and then, but having them as a daily wouldn't be good. It's very tidy, isn't it? Looks like he's got a sneaky fire speed in there as well. And there's a bee next to a little midget. rubber bumper midget so it's got the triumph engine in there I believe twin car hmm, it's like a rose between two thorns Look at the size <laughs> of the modern MG. Brand new one, next to two little tiny white rubber bumper midgets. Just makes this look like an absolute monster. <laughs> now see, this is an MG TF, but it's the original TF, the old fashion type. Don't ask me what year it is. But it's old. It's old, but it looks brand new. Fantastic condition. With the Optican dials as well. Uh, I mean, I haven't brought it with me actually. You know, but but I I compiled this history of you know all the owners and etc etc. Very cool. Yeah, you can see this is a tear next to it which I would have said was an F because I get confused you never know by the end of the day I might learn what the difference is between an F and a T <laughs> okay I think I'm getting it now this is an F isn't it the F has got the round headlights the TF has got the teardrop shaped headlights that one over there. I think I'm getting there. I'm working it out in my own little way. <laughs> What's the back? What's the back difference? I don't know why I can't get it into my head. It's a bit like March and May, the months. I get them muddled up. They both begin with M. Well, the back ends look very similar. 
I'm almost scared that I'm actually looking at two TFs here. <laughs> they look the same at the back. Maybe that's why I'm getting confused. <laughs> Maybe's getting excited because this one's a V8. We know that because they've put a leaping force under there. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to tell us. Tell you? Yeah. Quad exhaust. Just a little. Quad exhaust. Well, can't it really have... see in there, it's a bit dark, isn't it? What's it got it in there? It doesn't have a cutaway. Oh. It doesn't have the ashtray. So you're not allowed to smoke in a V8? No. <laughs> there you go, quad exhaust. And it's an estate. Mm. Look, you don't want his getting nicked today, does he? It's got wire wheels, but they're not as shiny as the MGA's chrome wire wheels. This has got a Basto roof, but it's not open, so I can't be nosy in there. Alright, here we go, here we go. We can play spot the difference. So, we have a TF and an F. So the fronts are obviously different. But if we go around the back, I think they almost look the same. Let's see if there's any differences. Can't stand back far enough. Uh, I mean, the bumper's less curvaceous on the tier. It's more squared off. But that's about it for differences. There's no, I suppose there's no plastic around the center brake light. Uh, on that one over there but yeah they do look very very similar and if we have a look inside can we see can we see any differences over here I haven't got very good memory so I can't <laughs> I was never that good at snap or um, pairs isn't it the card game I'd imagine like the switch gear is slightly different. But yeah, it really is hard to differentiate unless you see the front. You really need to sort of see the front or the badge on the back to know the difference, I think. A bit of a Peggy coloured uh, MGB here. I wonder if it is Blaze. It looks a little bit darker, I'm not sure. I've got sunglasses on. <laughs> I heard the engine and saw the push check come past. Oh, that's an old one turning up over there. <laughs> cool. Turquoise one's nice, isn't it? This car's been sticker bombs. Loads of stickers. Glittery stickers as well. I'm jealous of that. Oh, Amy's having a little dig, look. Oh. Need a replacement MG Zeta Saloon wow. boot badge. <laughs> look at these cakes. Fantastic. Mmm. They've even got like an Ikea rainbow cake over there as well. Massive buns. Look at all these stickers. Did you hear that? Someone's come from South Africa to this show. Oh. <laughs> mm, lots of bits and bobs. Very handy. Cool rack. And come and treat yourself to some delicious pastries and bread. Little spoiler on the back as well, look. Yeah. Super charred. That's because it is. This one's giving me vibes of Mr. Jenkins. Mm. 
So if you want to pick up one of, one of those today, that would be a, a very good buy. It's one of those, don't worry. It's MOT exempt. <laughs> nice little bastard. Eh? It's a nice eclectic mix, you know. The midgets, the bees. Oh, look, that one's got a V8 badge on that red one, right? Mm. But that's fun. Fun and noisy, I'd imagine. And then you've got cars like Raimi's. Is there this? Trophy blue, is it? It's nice blue. And this jacked up rubber bumper. This one's got its engine open, we can have a look. No oh. bits of string holding things together. <laughs> Hello, how are Here's you? Alex from Alex Attics. I'm well, thank you. How are you? You're right, you're having a good day. I'm having a lovely day so far. Fantastic. So it's quite the early start. So <laughs> I like your t-shirt. It's ironic. <laughs> I'm, I'm, wear, I'm wearing a Rover t-shirt just for <laughs> ironical purposes. So. Yeah, so Alex, Alex is here in the ZS. Yes, mainly ZS over there with green wheels. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So, yeah, it's nice, it's nice to bump into yes, other nice YouTubers. To, yeah, so, definitely. Yes, yeah, we'll see you again in a minute. So. Yeah, see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Um, this, this F has been... Sorry, yes. There we are, this chap we've just seen. His YouTube channel is Beards and Bangers. As you could have seen, he had a beard. Uh, this is actually his car, but it doesn't look like a banger. He probably has got bangers at home. <laughs> Some might say I've got bangers with me right now, but we won't mention this. <laughs> I think he mentioned he's just bought a Rover Streetwise. So we might have to check out his channel to see what he's been up to and see if we can see the Streetwise. Mm. The ZR's got one of these fancy paint jobs where it's sort of like green and yellow and glittery and all the different lights. And the one next to it, we've got the purpley turquoise. I do you like these colour changes, you know? Mm. This has got an upside down Lotus engine in it. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, look at this. This has got some nice blue bits on it. Just makes it look tired. Even the battery, they went and bought a Bosch battery. So it's nice and blue. Oh, look. No. An MG6. Don't mention that sort of car to Dan and Adam. I had a bad experience with theirs. It was always breaking. Clutch, clutch. Um, was it the master flywheel thing with Bob? Uh, window regulators breaking for a pastime on those. I mean. Ooh, this one looks sexy. It's black. Black with black wheels. Looks very nice. Like the chrome handles on it. Got some blue touches in there. Blue door cards, even a blue charging lead for his phone. <laughs> Ooh. I could hear a peacock. We are at a farm park, so there will be plenty of animals about. We might look at those later. That'll be a separate video though. For now, we'll look at these animals. Well, this one's got some lacquer peel going on. Wow, look at the mirror. 
That's extreme. Like this little F, look, I know what it is. It's an F. <laughs> Martini stickers on it. Very cool. And the ZS basking in the shade. In a lovely blue colour. This is the hatchback version. Page MGBGT Peacock's off again. Yeah, it looks nice in the beach. A few more cars have been turning up over here. This one looks like a bit of a, a work in progress. Looks like a possible new wing and door. Wabasto roof. We'll have to go through the Wabasto roof. But yes, yeah, fun driving it though. I say he could be a she. Sorry. Force of habit. Pimped out ZR next to it with a sticky out thing. Not going to tow a caravan with that, are you? <laughs> Quite a few cars turned up over there since I was last at this side of the field. I can see one of those MG V8 things, you know, the modern version of the bee. Let's go and have a... Let's go and have a... Oh. <laughs> Someone set their alarm off. That upset the peacock. Here we are. So one step up from the rubber bumper, we got the plastic bumper. Feel free, film, film my car, it's uh... <laughs> fees, fees are very reasonable. <laughs> if you want us in it, we charge a lot. Oh, do you? Oh, we won't film the owners then. Far too expensive. <laughs> nice little lineup of bees there, look. Oh, look at the little doggy. Yeah, it's on the Such a mix, isn't it? Look, you got the new, is that an MG3? Next to the old MG Midget, look. And yet, this is meant to be a small car. Look at it next to the Midget. Not very small, is it? <laughs> There's another one of these, look. I was just talking to the owner of that green one. So it's an MG R V8. And um, there was. I think he said about 2,000 of them made in total, but a lot went abroad. This is a nice blue. They're normally green when I see them. But yeah, quite a rare beast now. I found you, you noisy sod. Don't know how close I can get to you. I don't want you pecking my eyes out. Oh, look at that. You're showing off, but you can see your backside. Let me see your front. Show us your plumage. He's really going to attack me in a minute, isn't he? <laughs> It'll make for good footage, won't it? He keeps showing away. I'm antagonising this peacock. Look at that! Look at that! Beautiful. I am so going to get pecked. You look lovely, but you're scaring the crap out of me. Oh my god. Oh, he's definitely going to come for me. 
You look great, mate. Alright, I'm going. I'm going. Because I'm definitely going to get chased by this bird. All these people hear it and you got the money shot. <laughs> I'm running off! <laughs> He's going to chase me. Wow. What a beauty, eh? <laughs> I like that this guy is trying to make peacock noises to get it to look at him. You're just going to film his backside. Oh, look, he's turning around for him. <laughs> okay, back to the cars. Be funny if one of these blues was called Peacock Blue or something. black one. It's like the one parked next to us. Hmm. Almost like a Land Rover Green. That one. Oh, and another MGR. Yeah. I know what they are now. Another one. It's a nice green estate. Nice colour. It's got a sunroof on it. He's opening his bonnet. Very tidy. Shiny dash box. This one's popped the wrong way around. Set there. Interior looks nice. We've got a Wabasto roof. Very nice. I do prefer the MG BGTs with the roof. I'm not a fan of convertible cars. Only because it mess, they mess my hair up. <laughs> this is beautiful. Can I take this one home? Very nice. Black magnet. It's not a red interior though. It's green. with an MGBGT top. It's a hard top MGR. Hmm. Is it though? Or is it an MGB with MGR V8 body kit bits on? Hmm. I don't know. It does, it does look like it is an actual MGR V8. Let's have a look. This is what an RV8 GT would have looked like if Rover invested the money to develop the car. Everything's based around 1.8B GT. Has standard B running gear with a 1.8 twin carb engine. Four speed box with overdrive. It's got the little flicky switch on the overdrive. And then it's got RV8 parts. So front and rear wings, bonnet, inner wings have been engineered to drop the V8 pipes through should I ever decide to put the V8 in. Engine's been, engine bay has been modified to accommodate a five speed gearbox. So it's all ready for those bits and bobs. Porsche headlights. Oh. There you go. I don't know if you saw me filming American cars at Enfield the other weekend and there was a, I think it was a Buick and it had a grill like this. I've actually filmed a car very similar to this on my channel. Hmm, that MG over there has got the cooling fan on, must have got a bit hot on the journey here. So 
little lineup of BGTs, I noticed we've got different badge arrangements. We've got BGT like that with the MG on the other side. And then this one's got the big old fashioned looking MG badge. And it's got MGB GT like that. Hmm. Not sure if that was original. It is 69. L. Uh, oh, what's that? 71? 70? Hmm. Interesting. I was just walking through and this one caught my eye. Look at the glitter in that. That is super glittery in the sunshine. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it is really glittery compared to its friend next door. Yeah, it's way more glittery that one. Oh, it's a little 1300 going. I also like the fact that I've completely lost Raimi. It's gone. A couple of these cars over here have got their bonnets over and look at these, look. Triple carburetor. Triple Webbers. Wow, they must be extremely thirsty. And this big long six cylinder engine in there. Oh, this one's got its bonnet open now. Look, so we can have a little look. That's a weird shit going on here that we're not familiar with. I like the colostrum of that, though. It's so noisy on the tannoy here. Do my head in. What have we got over here? Zedars. Some more ZS's over here. ZS's with big spoilers on. <laughs> mm. This is the newer version, you see it's got different headlamps. This one's like Rainy's, but it's got white wheels instead of green. Nice clean engine bay. That's what we like. Slush to soothe my sore throat. <laughs> it's been three weeks and I'm still getting over my chest infection. But I'm nearly there. Right, so this is where the 1300 went. Found a little friend, a little MG Metro, a very familiar engine in. <laughs> very shiny black. <laughs> like his cassettes in front of the gear lever, look. <laughs> Tidy. Ah, oh, here we are. I was wondering if I could find any of these. MGCs. And are all the Cs. See, they've got the humpy sort of bonnet on. Just all the six cylinders. Oh, the bonnet's ajar, but we can't quite get in to see the engine. Has a different engine to the normal B. I can't remember exactly what engine it is because I'm pretty useless with MGs, but I just know it is an MGC. Very nice interior. Lots of people looking around the bees. Quite a few bees here. Two blues, look, twins. I like the plate on that one though, look, 40 TU. The plate's probably worth more than the car. And that's no offence to the car, it's just an expensive plate. What on earth's going on under the bonnet here? Wow. Look at that. 
so that's, that's a big lump in there, isn't it? I, I mean, I can. Mm. Mm, it's two more of these uh, RV8. It's the end of the bonnet, this one. Mm. Still filming then? I'm still filming the V8. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that one's got Rover badge stuck on the bonnet, on the, on the wing. Look. Two little midgets here. Nice clean looking engine, look. This little white one's for sale. Dusty looking engine, babe. Needs a clean. I mean, it's weird seeing a row of cars with their bonnets open and seeing tyres and not engines. <laughs> nice orange one on the end, that. Mm. Orange grove, I think. And what's over here? Estate. In a nice monogram colour. Lovely colour in the sunshine. This orange is a nice colour too. Like a metallic peggy. <laughs> Very autumnal. Oh, it was raining with his hands in his pockets. Not quite. Not quite. Thumbs. <laughs> Oh, automatic. Automatic's the way to go. Lots of yellowness in this one. We've got an England bad, England flag sort of MG badge. You like the yellow electrical tape as well. Where's the yellow? Oh, there, yeah. Yep. Even the insulation tape is yellow. There's a big banana in this one. It's very yellow. Yellow mats and everything. Look at the gauges. <laughs> Different. You can hear slurpy noises, it's my sloshy. This one's got some meetings going on under here. <laughs> Hello. It's an offer, isn't it? Eh? Do I want some? I'll have some. <laughs> Hang on. I'm flopping my camera around everywhere here. Mmm. <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> anyway, I was looking at this. Look at the funny little lights in there. I think they're lights. They could be parking sensors, but it's quite a lot of them, so I would say they're lights. Oh, we got some proper classics here. I think they're MGTDs. Might be wrong. No, oh, little sausage dog. Cute. Proper old school. I just realised this one's left hand drive. Oh, what's this one? This one as well. You can never decipher the J2s and the TDs and things like that. I think they're all TDs. I think this is a um, MGF, is it? Oh no, a YB this one. A Y. Flashing his engine for us. 
Vanden plant, Princess yeah. R, with yeah. a four litre Rolls Royce engine in it. Yeah. That was too tall. We've got some roof to peek in. Slurping again, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, this one's got its engine out, look. Almost like the spare spark plugs on the bulky. Yeah? Oh, it's yeah. yours, is it? Yeah. We just, it's a very deep engine, isn't it? Is that because the sump's deep? Or? You've got the dynamo at the front. Right. So it's over a camp. Yes. Uh, but to fit everything in and yeah, mm. you can call it it's only about mm. five litres, I think. Yeah. Four, four and a half, Tying them out a funny yeah. angle there. It's a long pro engine as well. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think white and red was a popular colour for the MGA. <laughs> it's like looking at a row of blood cells, isn't it? Yeah. It, the red one here has even got red interior. Proper red overload. And the white car's got a red engine. Does that mean the red car's got a white engine? <laughs> Look at this. This is better. It's got a roof. I like a car with a roof. <laughs> hmm, see the back lights have got the indicators incorporated on. Not like this white one here. It's just got red lights. So many MGs, so little time. Look at this sporty one. It's got some vents cut out in the wing, look. Mm. Made it lightweight by taking the door cards out. Oh, there's something much more exciting over here. We're going to get very excited. It's a maestro. Look at that. Beautiful. Black and red. Well, red bits. <laughs> oh, shame his window's not open. Look at the good nose in there. <laughs> it's in lovely condition. <laughs> Two litre. Mm. Hoonigan. Very cool. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. Sorry. Bad joke. <laughs> It's funny to see these, you know, old MGA. I wouldn't know what year that is. 1950s, perhaps? Next to this wire edge, bright yellow. Uh, Z. Oh, ZR, isn't it? I always get them confused. ZR, that is. <laughs> oh, this is quite interesting. You can see the. The differences of their faces so you got a little midget 
and the MGA and the M see the MGA grill it sort of slopes doesn't it I mean, to be honest it looks a little bit ugly compared to the happy little face of the midget here it certainly looks better looking at it from the front looking down on it so nice the weather's like this it brings out the colors of the cars so well the blues just really pop they do look absolutely fantastic another black mgb with wire wheels i'm going over here because i saw a purple one look. <laughs> oh, look at the happy little midget over here. They have a happy face, don't they? Lyndon's uh, sold his now. He's got a mini. I've run all the way down to the other end of the field because Beards and Bangers Man from YouTube is filming over there and we'd just be filming each other constantly. So I thought I'd run down the other end of the field. There are so many TFs and um, Fs. It's quite nice to see a ZS. Because <laughs> there's loads, and there's loads of Fs, TFs, MGBs. Um, not that many midgets, but there are a couple hiding. Look, there's a little green one hiding down here. We got a face lifted ZS here as well. Oh, it's on Dutch plates. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, it does look better with a big spoiler on it like Raimi's. <laughs> and another black bee with wire wheels and the seat belts hanging out of it, just like the one that was parked next to us. Looks like uh, white was a popular colour on the bees over here. White, 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 one red. Again. It's just like blood cells. And the blue one. Just to be different. Of course, what colour do your veins look when you look at them? They look a bit blue, don't they? <laughs> Sorry, I'm being weird and gross. I think the sun's getting to me. Let's go over here. Mm, he's got his Wabasto open. It's funny, isn't it? We've got all these open top cars that we can easily look at, but I still get excited about shoving the camera through the Wabasta. You can see the crumbs on the seat. Peanuts. Oh, I'll come running back over here next to this 1300 because, sorry about the erratic camera moving, another maestro. Second one here today, and that is a very clean engine bay. Very, very tidy. Better than new, I would say. We can sort of see in here, look. 50, nearly 53,000 on the clock, probably. Genuine. Nice. Right, that's it. I've had enough of MGs for one day. <laughs> I'm still not well so we're gonna head off home we've been around the park seen a few animals I didn't film any of them because it's just so busy and full of kids but it's definitely worth a visit the Cotswold Wildlife Park hey we're going home thanks for watching bye, bye. and the award for noisiest car at the show Raimi <laughs>
doing some overriders there.